Hey guys, Nick here. I want to do a quick walkthrough of how to install the Facebook retargeting pixel on your website. And the reason this is important is even if you have no intention of running a Facebook ad today, if you install this, you're collecting data and you're sending data to Facebook. Should you ever want to run an ad in the future, you automatically have a built-in audience to target. People who've been to your website, like you can target those people on Facebook. It's a really, really powerful marketing channel and I just installed this so I want to share a quick video so like for example here's an ad for Zertual and this is a retargeting ad because I was just on their website and so these are the type of ads that show up they show up in your newsfeed and it's a uh, a warmer relationship hey they, they know I've already been to their site and so uh, this is a lower cost of acquisition so if you have something you eventually plan to sell and want to retarget your visitors say hey, let's be honest your blog visitors might not be on your page every day and here's a way to get in front of them on a site they probably are on every day so here's how you get this done if you go to uh, manage ads you may have to set up an ad profile first but if you go to manage ads and so here's your ad manager dashboard then you want to jump in the audiences uh, tab over here. And what I found out, so here you see I just installed it called Side Hustle Nation Visitors, and it says the audience is too small because it's been running you know, for five minutes at this point. But what we can do is if you hit Create Audience and then do Custom Audience, this is where you're going to find the option to do Website Traffic. And so it says anyone who visits your website, you can be, you know, 30 days. Um, you can even put it on specific pages. We'll do anyone who visits our website. You can do 30 days. You can do 90 days. Whatever. I mean, you could get this really, really narrow and say, "Well, I only want to target people who've been there in the last seven days." So you're gonna be really hot leads, whatever that you want. And so we can put, you know, sh visitors just to make it a little bit different. So we hit create audience. Thank you for creating your audience. And so this says the audience is too small. Let's see if it'll give us our, our pixel here. Default pixel. Okay, let's see if it'll bring it up. Okay, so here's where we get the pixel code and the first time that I was walking through this I actually didn't have to go through those steps it just showed this to me automatically so I'm gonna paste all this so grab it uh, shoot. select all somehow okay so grab it and then in your WordPress dashboard here's where you want to go you want to go to uh, appearance and then editor very very simple your theme is probably going to have uh, an option called footer or footer.php. You scroll all the way down to the bottom and you can see I've pasted this in right here, right below the closing body tag. This is all this Facebook retargeting script and I've added this comment here just so I know what it is for future reference. You can hit update file and when you refresh your home page and you hit view source, you'd be able to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Actually, if you just hit retargeting, you can see that it's installed right there. And it's already collecting data on the visitors to uh, every page on the site. So it's pretty cool in case you want to run an ad to, uh, to those guys in the future.